We're in Seattle and Mackie has sent me their vlogging kit, the EM90, what is it called? Their EM93MK and this is a great place to check it out, but it's really cold and I need some coffee. So we gotta get some coffee first. I am not sure there's going to be coffee down here. We seem to have ended up in the University of Washington wetlands. Uh, on the uh, camera right now, on the Sony ZV-1, I've got the Mackie uh, mini shotgun microphone with their dead cat. That's part of the kit. And the camera is mounted on a handle slash tripod that comes with a kit too. And I'll talk about that in just a little bit. The mini shotgun microphone comes with a dead cat, which is on it right now. It has a shock mount that mounts it to the camera. It also has a uh, foam pop filter, which you can use instead of the dead cat. And it includes a couple of cables um, so that you can plug it into your phone or you can plug it into a normal camera input. Somebody's sneaking up on me. Hello. Hello. Woo, <laughs> coffee. Lavender and honeycomb. I don't know. Interesting. The Mackie vlogging kit also includes a phone holder, so it's not just something that you use on a camera, but you can use it on your phone as well. I really need some more coffee. So, what do you recommend here? Do you have anything that's unusual or that maybe you couldn't find somewhere else? I would say probably just this Dolce de Lache. Oh, okay. I'll take the Dolce de Lache. Dolce de Lache. Thanks. A dolce de leche. It's very sweet. That might be the dulce part. Dolce. Uh, that was mine. This is my art. We're at Pike Place here and we are looking for coffee still. Or more, more coffee. Ice cream. And ice cream. Well, no real coffee yet, but we did find some ice cream, so I'm gonna have that instead. The Mackie vlogging kit comes in this nice case here, and inside you get a tripod. You also get this light that you can fix to the top of your camera. You get this phone bracket so that you can use it with a phone, not just a camera. You get the microphone itself. You get a big old fluffy dead cat. And if you're working closely indoors, you get a pop filter. The tripod has some nice features. Now you have this extender bar here that unscrews. Also, there's an additional quarter 20 hole here so you can attach things that would normally attach to a tripod. There's another one down here. It's got a ball head adjustment. You can, you can adjust it here. And a nice touch too is that the threads on this extender pole are also quarter 20 so you can use them to attach things it's like a lego or an erector set or something you can just do all sorts of things with it the phone mount is on a spring here so it holds your phone securely you also have another quarter 20 socket here so you can screw things in there and you have not one but two cold shoe or accessory mounts here 
You can put a light up here, you can put the microphone, that kind of thing. The light is mounted on an accessory shoe mount. You can mount it onto the top of your camera or somewhere else. It comes with a diffuser. I'm not sure how useful this diffuser is, but it's got one. And you can adjust both the brightness and the temperature. Clicking this button switches from temperature to brightness and back, so. What's different here that I might not be able to find somewhere else? Um, I would say definitely go to a seasonal menu. I think that lemon latte is really good. It's not like a sour lemon. It's a syrup with lemon oil in it, and so it's a nice, bright flavor. Is there caffeine in it, though? Yes, it's a, a double shot of espresso and a milk. We cool. do alternative milks as well. Great, I'll try one of those. Alrighty. Thanks. I have had too much coffee. I, I feel like I've had all the coffee in Seattle and I do not think I'm gonna sleep tonight. But you know what? I think this would be a great time to tell you about the light that comes with this kit. And um, let me turn it on here. Ooh, that's bright. It's a really bright light and it comes with a diffuser and it also has three accessory mounts on it, which is pretty crazy. So you can attach all sorts of things to it. I have the microphone attached to the top of the light right now. The light is continuously variable between daylight and tungsten, so you can get it to match your background. And that's what I'm gonna do right now, because right now it is daylight and my background is very warm, very tungsten, so let's fix that. Okay, and now the Mackie light is matching the background quite a bit more, and I can even take it one step further and I can adjust my camera's white balance to tungsten. Let's do that. There, and now the on-camera light is matching the background. The camera is adjusted and uh, it looks pretty clean. And I'm obviously standing in the garage and I think this is probably a good time to uh, end the video.